Hi, welcome back to the Leisure and Rack at Home. This is our final episode for the school year. And we just want to say thank you so much for everyone for watching all our episodes throughout the past couple months. Um, today we're going to end our series on a special website and it's the Leisure and Rec website, the web website that I have all my information on. So over the summer, if you want to try out something new or you want to review something that we did earlier this year, you can check out check it out anytime during the year. So before we begin looking at that website, let's go over our learning targets. Thank you, Liam. So today I will explore the Leisure and Rec website so I can practice using my fine motor skills using a touch screen or a laptop or a mouse. I'm gonna be making decisions and stating preferences. So you're gonna say, oh, I really like this part of the website or, oh, I don't really wanna look at this one. And I know when I got it is when I use the website to find information or an activity of my choice. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna show you how to get to my website. So we're gonna go and share what our screen looks like. And if you look here, this is our Skill Center website. This is the center, the main Skill Center website. So if you go to the top, there's a part that says staff. So if you click on staff, you're gonna see all kinds of names. And right there is Elizabeth Craven, Elizabeth. And this is my site. Now on this site, you can find out a little bit about me. It also, go up a little bit, it does have my email address. So if any time during the summer, that's the best way to contact me. If you want to say, tell me something that's going on or you have a question, anytime you can go ahead and email me. That's the best way to get contact with me. Now, underneath welcome, there's a tab that says classroom photos. Now, if you want to look back at some of the wonderful pictures that we took throughout the year, this is from the past two years and we have 165 pictures. So if you go towards the very back, we have all the different art projects we've done. Um, this might give you some ideas of things that you can do or some games you can play over the summer, or if you just want to look back and remember all those good times, that's also a great reason to check this out. And this goes all the way back to when we, um, right before we left. So if you go to 165, this actually goes back to when we, right before we left. So these were some of the pictures that I took like just a few weeks before we were gone for a while. So the most recent ones are towards the back, the 160s. Um, the next tab that you want to check out is our helpful resources. On this, it provides you with a lot of different organizations that provide special camps and activities for people with disabilities. And some of these activities are still going on this summer. Some of them, yes, are canceled, but things like uh, the Fourth Wall Theater are going to be doing virtual camps. So definitely check these out. You're also going to see all the different cities that you guys live in. You can check out what's going on in your city. Some of the things might be canceled, but um, just recently the libraries all opened up. So you can check out what's going on at the different libraries in the different cities that you guys live in. Our next thing that I wanted to show you is our YouTube channel. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys right now are watching the YouTube channel. You can go to this and this will give you the main page. So this is my main YouTube cha channel and it'll give you all the videos. So if you wanna check out a video from the past, all the videos are on here. So that's the link to the main YouTube page. Um, calendar, right now the calendar is pretty blank because it's for the summer, but once the school year starts, I'll have more information on there. But the last link that I definitely want you guys to check out is the Fun Link Library. 
And in here, I have all different types of websites that are fun, that are great to just relax, like a Zen garden, play some instruments, lots of um, uh, coloring and drawing, some of the different things that we talked about this uh, past quarter, like our virtual trips and the art and culture um, website, puzzles, games. So there's a lot of different websites on here that you can try out. I give you a little information about it and then I have the link so you can just click on the link and you get the cool website and you can start drawing. This one's really cool because it helps you draw. So like if you want to draw a circle, it will give you some suggestions like, oh, did you want to draw that? And it'll fix it for you. Like if you want to draw a star and you're not the best at drawing stars, I might show one up here. Here, let's try that again. I'm trying to draw a star. It's not the best star, but let's see. Oh, look it. A star showed up here. So this is a really cool website. So this just gives you all the different types of really cool websites of things you can do over the summer. So I hope you really enjoyed this website and I'll be adding things to it throughout the year. And like, like I said, if you ever want to get a hold of me over the summer, this email address, ecraven at livoniapublicschools.org is the best way to get a hold of me. Have a great summer. Have a great summer. We wish you have a wonderful summer and we'll see you in the fall.